need your team to win? Really? Really? You need your team to win? <laughs> what a clown! Like, literally. I'm gonna say this once again, guys. Never ever start with a pot. You don't need a pot on any jungler. There are only... Okay, not on any. There are like two to three junglers in all the 30, 40 junglers that exist where you need a pot. So basically, you need it never. Even on those junglers, you can potentially say that you don't need a pot. What is way smarter... Is, like, you need to keep in mind that the lower you are HP, the more HP you're gonna get back from jungle camps. And also keep in mind that... If you play jungle correctly, if you kite correctly, you never need a pot and those extra 50 gold are very valuable if you count it up. Okay, so... I'm gonna ping them away so you can see. Um, I'm gonna kite it, I'm gonna kite it to bot lane. I'm gonna queue it. And as you can see, I have my double strike ready now and my Q soon as well. So now I'm at, you will see in a second. I finished my Crux. At 203. And I can guarantee if you get a leash, you will be exactly similar fast. Getting a leash is only good if you get an insane, insane leash. If you get a normal leash, it's actually useless, completely useless. In some situations, it will even slower your speed, but most just have no idea about jungling, so therefore they don't understand that concept. We're just gonna kite it. We're not gonna attack the small one, it's gonna die from the burn anyways. insta queue the blue buff, don't hesitate a second. This is actually a good example. This is probably one of the fastest possible clears that exists with Master Yi leashless. We'll see how fast I will be. I'm gonna drag down the grump here as well. Take the grump at exactly three minutes. Oh, it's not perfectly fast, but it's okay. Okay, three zero, three ten full clear. That's fine for leashless. It's okay, not terrible. I'm going the top lane now. He's already dead to Volibear. He does flash, but the chance. I'm gonna take this ward here. He does flash. But I'm gonna get the kill very, very likely. I'm gonna flash inside here. Okay, he does a mistake now. The chance he survives is zero now. I'm just gonna W here now. There's no disengage for him. I'm just gonna wait for this guy real quick. I'm gonna kite him. Exactly like I said, there's zero escape for him. He also doesn't have TP, so there's no escape. Um, flashing this bush is fine because he will get his Q back up. And if he has his Q and I face check him, he will just Q me and run away. The chance he survives is given, so the chance we kill him is very, very high if we slash into the bush. Oh, I cancel one auto tag or two actually here because I am still getting used to the low ping again. Okay, I'm gonna check here. Everything is cleared. Hackerim did a full kill. I'm gonna danger ping bot lane. I'm gonna danger ping bot lane once again. I'm gonna type it in the chat. Hackerim bot lane. We finish our reset here. I'm gonna buy this boots and a control ward. Absolutely fine position. They got a double kill. Jinx died, the wave crashes under the tower, but still, it's fine. Um, the harder the game it, the better it is actually for you guys to understand. When do you usually invade a jungle? I invade jungle whenever the chance of getting a good outcome is extremely high, which means if I see a Hecarim does his topside camps in this game, for example, and then he ganks top lane, and I see, okay, he for sure is not on his bot side, I for sure win on his bot side, then I can go for invade plans. Uh, most of the times it's just not certain where the enemy hacker is, it's not certain what exactly he cleared and then the invading is very flippy and I never have a flippy playstyle so I barely invade, it's not necessary to get to rank 1, it's not necessary to climb to your dream elo. What is necessary is the consistency and you can play consistent and therefore also have consistent invades if you're very good at the game. Okay, I'm gonna clear to top again. As you can see, all I do is just clearing, clearing, clearing. I'm extremely ahead in the jungle. I'm extremely ahead in gold. I'm extremely ahead in XP. And I'm in an absolutely beautiful position. And I also hardcore outscale the Hecarim. And all I did in this game was talking to you guys. So you see, the game can be very, 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 very easy if you just fully, fully focus on how to explain, uh, how to use your fundamentals. Now, I cleared my camps. I'd see if it's a top lane play gonna happen. If this Volibear walks away, I will walk away. 
He walks away. I walk away. Absolutely fine. I'm in a beautiful position. I'm going to walk mid lane. He made one mistake that I didn't look mid lane too early. So this um, Talon will for sure survive it. Actually, he doesn't see me on the map. Volibear maybe didn't ping him. I'm going to text the wave here. I'm not going to get too much gold, but still going for all this wave is extremely uh, important. Ari STP, she's going to ping it. Um, all I can do is last hit. That's the best possible thing I can do right now. Okay, we see Hecarim level 4 while I'm level 6. He takes this one here. I don't need to ult engage on him, but I can here invade him. Why can I invade him, guys? Type into the chat. What do you think? Why can I invade him? I'm going to answer in a second. Why can I invade him? Why can I press SW here? Why can I do that? <laughs> Type it in the chat, guys. Why can I invade like this? Because the chance I die is absolutely zero. If I don't make a mistake mechanically, which I didn't, the chance I die equals zero. I see the enemy bot lane, I see the enemy Lulu, I see the enemy Jinx. So what can enemies do? Even if the enemies play pixel perfect, they could never ever kill me. Even if this was Faker, this was Faker, this was Faker, this was Faker, this was Faker. If they moved, I would have left. If they fight me, you see, they have no chance. They played it very fine, but they just can't win. I can also just run out with my ult and I'm fine as well. I didn't need to turn on Hecarim, but I knew I would kill him. And that's the reason why I could invade. Because they can never kill me. And when they cannot kill me, the cha it's extremely consistent. And the chance I could get an get outcome is fine. Why well, no Rage Knife first? Because Blade from King is better. Blade from King... King um, Rage Knife is a very good spike, but you will delay your Blade from King, which is just terrible. Gets his charm. I'm gonna get his ult and I'm not gonna kill him. But maybe he makes a mistake. I think I will get in Q range. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Now I'm gonna take my chickens and then I'm gonna reset. So you just keep in mind what I want to say. I forgot what I want. To, what did I want to say, guys? Uh, oh, I wanted to talk about Blade from King. Now I remember it. So Rage Knife is a good power spike and it's very useful in the early game and sometimes it's good. Um, but Blade from King power spike is way too massive. And it's simply, if you have Blade from King, for example, now, I literally one shot hacker them. And that's just stronger than Rage Knife. So, why am I going Wolves now and not to, to Dragon? Why did I reset and not taking Scuttle? Think, guys, I'm here to help you guys out for your games. Why do I play the way I play? Why did I go for Wolves now, not for Dragon and Scuttle? Type it in the chat, guys. Type it in the chat so I see your thoughts as well. I can answer to those thoughts. Maybe I can learn, you guys can learn. It's just beneficial for all of us. Type it in the chat. If you are active, you can get learn a lot from this free coaching. Herald? No. That's not the reason. No bot prior? That's one reason. Yes, I don't have bot prior. The chance I get dragon is not that high. Even if I get dragon, it only gives me 25 gold. I am 5-0, and oh, I need to carry the game. The Herald is one reason I want to get Herald, yes. But the main reason is my entire top side camps are up. Which is equal 300 gold. Plus, if I get Herald, which I can get in this position, even if Hecarim comes and tries to contest it, we see Lulu's bot, so only Hecarim could come, is another 300 gold. So even if the enemies are getting Dragon, it's completely worth it to go for this. <coughs> Camps up is extremely important that you focus on it. We see Talon ulted. So I, I'm not gonna use ult. Why do I not use ult flash? Why did Cinerius not ult flash? And now I'm getting pinged. What the fuck question, my question, my question. Why did you not ult flash the Talon, guys? What do you think? What do you think, guys? It's because the chance I kill Talon is around 90% and it's not worth it. My ult and my flash is more important. I'm 5-0. and oh, I will 1v9 this game. He doesn't have ult. He will run right into my face and die anyways. And you can do the exact same thing. We even get his flash. Now, Hecarim, the next one. The next one trying to have. I'm just gonna attack the tower because I want to get my Q back up. Now I'm gonna start attacking him. I need to be careful about his ult, but there's nothing he can do because I will literally just burst him down as well. Who's gonna come? We see Jinx is missing. Volibear is missing. What can enemies do? Volibear is coming. Jinx, Jinx was in base, otherwise I would see her as well. I'm gonna use my W to block his... I want to use my W to block his W damage, but I misplayed that a tiny bit. I think I could have killed Volibee as well. I knew Jinx was in base, so therefore Lulu most likely was also in base. I would roam together, so I wanted to fight the Volibee as well, but it was probably not that smart. So I just went for this play, and that's absolutely fine. I'm going to buy uh, Amplifying Tome here as well. I don't have enough gold for Pickaxe, but it's completely fine to have this reset where I have Pickaxe as well. Like this. All right, beautiful. 
Okay, 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 chill, 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 guys. I'm explaining my thought process, okay? That's what we do in this full educational content, okay? Okay, let's continue. Um, here in this position, you can even go for bot lane gank. Why can you go for bot lane gank? Because we have a control word in the tri and I also have ult ready. I'm extremely defend. I have also, um, as I said, blade from King Grace. I have, and also we have a good push. So I can just walk on them. Chinul this comp precisely enough. Right? I'm not gonna cure yet. I'm gonna cure dodge the um, Jinx for stuff here. So even if Lulu ults, she will be dead. I don't need to smite Lulu. Okay, Lulu flashed. So I'm gonna smite her right now. Even if Hecarim comes, I, will I can even dance if I wanted to. I can just chill here. Even if Hecarim comes, I would still be able to kill him. Panvin made a mistake, should have gone, gone with me, but I also made a mistake that I put a, a tiny bit of trust in my teammate, which I should never have done. Should have taken full control. I can use my Herald right now if I attack the tower precisely um, and very, very fast. So my Herald, if, if Herald charges through, I will ha it will have more armor, so that's not that good. I'm going to get the next tower padding here in this position, then I'm going to start invading. We don't know where Hecarim is, but we do have a lot of pressure, so most likely he is not on the botside jungle. Talon used his ult, so whatever happens, he cannot kill me. We see Jinx here and coming as well. Um, I don't want to fight because Hecarim is coming now. Lulu is uh, very close. I'm going to dance a tiny bit. I'm going to smite the blue buff here. I'm going to take the scuttle here as well. And then I'm going to walk outside out. I'm going to danger ping the Aria. I don't want to fight. Care, 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 please. Care, don't fight. I'm going to type it in the chat here as well. I want to reset it and I'm going for wrap up. I'm not taking dragon nonetheless. I even give dragon if the enemies wanted to take dragon. Why is that? Okay, Lulu takes the plan, so I'm just gonna stay here because maybe uh, Hecarim is about to come. I'm gonna press W, uh, reset him now again. Hecarim is about not to come. I was gonna see, okay, maybe she face checks so I can go for a gank as well. I have ult up as well. Uh, Lulu does not have ult, so I can go for an engage here. I will dodge the, plan the things here. I'm gonna ca chase her down. I'm not sure where Hecarim is. Most likely he's on bot side because uh, he did already all his bot side camps with me together. So I'm just gonna go on her. I get Lulu ult. I'm not able to kill her. So I'm gonna reset here. Now in this position, I can take the dragon. Usually the dragon is not very useful. Why is that? Because the dragon is not our win condition. But I'm still gonna go for this dragon. Why is that? Why do I go for this dragon? Um, because I want to reset anyway and I don't lose much of time taking this and it's still a tiny bit useful having the passive from the dragon so I'm not using taking the dragon for the soul which is usually the case I'm just taking it for this tiny bit of passive here active for our team <laughs> Ouch. all right beautiful I need to carry this game that was obvious from the second one we you guys don't like all of you guys like, not all of you guys i'm sorry i didn't want to generalize it but a lot of people come to me and be like i can't climb because of your team and that's i think the most cringe sa statement you can ever make because that statement itself already means weak because that means that you are um like you need your team to win really really you need your team to win <laughs> what a clown like literally Take a little bit of responsibility. They can in, they can do whatever they fuck. They can jerk off if they wanted to and I will still win. Because I will find a way how to win, okay? Let them let them do their stuff. Let them talk to their grandmother. Maybe she's sick, we don't know. So let her play the let them play the game and I will carry. That's that easy. Okay? In game. Okay, let's go for this guy. We get us almost like you most likely not gonna get a kill. I'm just gonna get my Q back here up. Okay, we're gonna get his ult, most likely. He doesn't use ult, so he dies. That's completely fine for me as well in this position. I don't use some ult. We see Lulu bottom, we see Jinx dead. Holy Bear dead. Talon is also bottom, so the only one here could be Hecarim. I'm gonna push this with the Malphite. And then I'm gonna go for the Herald here. Why gonna go for the Herald? Because the enemies can do nothing to stop it. We see Talon bottom, very, very obvious. Let's see what happens. GG jungle diff. Beautiful, beautiful. That's the most beautiful thing. Twitch. <laughs> Sibirias. Full educational content. Lol. Lol, the Lulu one is this even. Okay, okay, and beautiful, and beautiful. Now we have. Okay, now the full. Guys, I need to kill this Lulu now. Okay. And what are you gonna do now, Lulu? Hold yourself, and then... Ah! <coughs> Play here and talk. <laughs> I, I love it, I love it. That's really one of the reasons why I love playing Master Yi. Come auto-attack me. 
sauce out as well. We're gonna reset with the fast reset here in this position. I'm gonna take that one here. I'm gonna take control as well. So most of the times people ask me, okay, what should I do? When should I take camps in the late game? When should I skip camps? And I'm gonna tell you. What you should do in the late game, look in the minimap right now. You should decide which side you take, okay? Either Crux into chickens or you take Grump into wolves. Completely fine both ways. But you simply decide, okay? Um, if you take wolves and wolves and Grump, the like Grump into wolves, you're not gonna take chickens and crocs. If you take crocs and chickens, you're not gonna take those. Because now, after I cleared those, I'm on the map. So no matter what happens, I can make a play now. You should not do zero camps, but you should also always take one side. So this one side also already resets. Getting Doing a complete full clear would take way too long. Blue or pet jungle? I generally like the blue pet way more, but it really depends on the jungle champion we are about to play. Wanna see some damage, guys? Okay, oh my bad. I underestimated the Lulu ult. <clears throat> the hacker mold, I mean. Yeah, you see, I dodged Lulu ult, but then the hacker mold comes. And what my mistake was that I engaged before my team does anything. Um, I should have always waited. That was absolutely my fault. Um, if I wait for their core items, for example, if hacker ulted, if Lulu ulted, I would have always won that fight extremely easily. Bro, I literally watched like 20 minutes and I learned so much. What the fuck? Ha Habu Burak. That's the, the reason why that is the case is I will try with this type of content to be effective. I'm not trying to enjoy it. I'm struggling. I'm permanently talking. I'm sweating. I'm thirsty. I don't want to talk, but I'm talking. So you guys learn. Okay? That's simple. Okay, I'm gonna take my wrap off here. Thank you for the leash, brother. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is one of the only times where you are allowed to full clear. Keep in mind, it's important. Like, I'm going to focus on the macro again. We need to end the game. So what I want to do is I want to do Baron. With the Baron, we do a split. It doesn't matter if it's 1-3-1. One, one, one. It doesn't matter if it's 1-0-4. It, it doesn't really matter which split you're going to do. Um, but it's important that you do a split. Okay, Jin died. That's a good example. Now we can take Baron because it's a 4v5. So what are we gonna do? I can tell you what we do. We're gonna start Baron. We're not gonna take Baron. We're gonna start Baron and see what the enemies do. If the enemies try to contest it, then we're gonna insta turn on them. Okay, now we're gonna finish it because we did way too much damage and the enemies are not contesting it. Okay, the enemies did not... If the enemies were contesting it, we would have instant turned and stopped the Baron. So basically, we cannot take the Baron. But if the enemies make a mistake, we can take the Baron. And if they... Yeah, basically, if they walk to us, we would just counter. So now it's important. Let me split bot. Do I have enough for Witset? No, so I'm gonna take Scuttle. And then I'm gonna reset and take Witset. I'm gonna danger ping them a few times. It would be a big mistake if you follow them and stay with them mid lane now. It would also be a big mistake if you go top lane. It would also be a big mistake if you go bot lane. It's important that you get first of all your items. Now you go bot lane while you danger ping them. Don't fight, wait me. If they win the fight, awesome. But most of the times it's bad to take it. And no matter what happens, even if they die, I can also only communicate as good as I can. I will go bot lane and take a push there. It seems like they're winning it, so that's absolutely beautiful. Technically, when we can end the game, I would go with them. Okay, Jin is about to die here. It's very flippy. It's very random what happens. We know that. We can just try to communicate better. That's all we can basically do. We can't really stop that. So they all die exactly like I predicted it. I could not have communicated better. The only thing I, I personally could have done better is ping and um, chat more. What did they use? I'm just gonna ex expect what they use most of the time. Um, Hecarim also. Now it's important. Macro wise, I should walk back. Walk, walk back now. I'm gonna play it ver a little bit. Say, actually, I'm gonna play it aggressive now. Um, I can show you. Uh, explain a lot through playing aggressive. Let me focus this one play because it's one v five. Wanted to cue the jinx. Fuck, I misplayed that. Oh no, I misplayed that. I think I could have penta killed that if I didn't cue the Volibear. Should have cued the minions so I'm out of the tower and then I get stunned here, not under the tower, and then I will kill them all. Holy shit. Almost, almost penta kill, guys. I fucked it up. It's my fault. There's a lot. So basically, why do I flash on the Hecarim like this? Because if the Hecarim ults, I will react to it and kill him. 
If the Akram does not ult, I will kill him. I can Q the Lulu because I expect she doesn't have ult. And if she Ws me, the, my, my burst will still go through. The only mistake I made is afterwards queuing the Volibear because she will just Q me. And I'm pointing to take one shot, 100 to 0. I should have kited the Volibear so he can never Q me. And if he Qs me, I dodge it with my Q. I could have just easily pentakilled them. But I fucked it up. I made a mistake. We can all learn. I can also improve here in this position as well. And Isamurans, thanks for the Prime as well. I appreciate it. Okay, next plan. What are you gonna do now, Makrowise? Type into the chat, guys. What should I do, Makrowise? I even showed it on the map, but fuck it. What should you do, Makrowise? And tell me why. Tell me the arguments. So the smartest is to go top lane. It's better than taking bot lane right now. Um, we can most likely not end, so it's useless going mid lane. Um, we already have the bot tower, so it's better to break the towers. It's like, the moment you broke all the 2 t 2s you try to break T3s. The moment you have all inips, okay, I'm not gonna engage here. Maybe I need to ult out. It would be fine. I need to ult out. Okay, that's fine. If I didn't ult out, I would be dead. And that's completely fine because I got hit by the Jinx, Jinx W. As you can see, I die pretty quickly. And it's important to play it mechanically now smart as well, which means actually mechanically and macro wise. First of all, I don't let the enemies engage on me. And secondly, and the mechanic is that I play the fights very, very slow in terms of I wait until they use stuff. Um, here in this position, I can never ever engage anymore because the moment I engage, the moment I engage, I will get one shot from the enemies. So how do you play that now? Because that's actually very. Let's see if he, if maybe he makes a mistake. He okay, doesn't make mistakes. If I if he if we wanted to jump on the wall, he would be dead. <coughs> we wait for Jin top lane. We wait for. I'm gonna communicate now. Three, uh, one, one, three. There's actually many many splits we can do. I'm fine with this right now because we have bot inhibitor open. They want to reset. Okay, we're just gonna try to communicate and handle those um, goal players. Okay, Malfit top TP, so I'm instantly gonna push. Volibear goes further, so I'm gonna push now instantly. Hecarim is top lane, I see him. Okay, our communicate education works. Even if it doesn't work perfectly, we can try still something. Okay, we see few people on top lane, I'm gonna get this inhibitor. I'm gonna push it, even if Jenks is here, I'm gonna still get it. Beautiful. Now we see them fighting, I'm gonna try to push. They go to this fight, so I'm gonna take the tower here. And I'm gonna walk away again. Very good macro, guys. Very good macro. I can't fight anymore. It's a good example. I could have ended the game way earlier, but this is the macro I want to show you for the late game, okay? We sidestep this. And I'm just gonna chill. I'm chilling. I'm waiting. We can wait for Baron. We don't need to end. The enemies are already scaling. They're already in the scaling position. If we... I'm most likely gonna reset here and then by GA. Let's see what happens. If they fight, I'm gonna danger ping them. Don't fight. Don't fight. Go Baron. Let's see if they listen, okay? I'm gonna danger ping once again. Maybe if I reset, they will see that I'm literally not on the map. Don't, don't, don't go barren and then end. I'm gonna actively try to communicate. That is the best possible way how you should play it. Okay, they're engaged. I really don't care a tiny bit about my cards. Okay, they won the fight. Nice, and we won the game. Beautiful. But the chance that we lose this was so on the high. Holy shit. I love it. I can ping my entire life. They wouldn't care. I know how you feel, guys. I know how you feel, guys. They don't care. They don't even know I exist. It's beautiful. But still, the chance that they react to me is higher. So it's worth it communicating like this. Alright. Well, Page G, beautiful. Another victory in this position. Alright, I'm gonna grab some water, guys. I deserve some water sips.